Hello YouTube, Troy360 here giving you another gameplay commentary for you guys here. Today I'll be giving you a game of Team Deathmatch on Kark Island. I think I completely butchered the pronunciation of this map, but oh well, <laughs> I think the gameplay makes up for it. So, pretty much today I'll be giving you a nice game of, well, using the AEK971, which is a beast of a weapon. It's got a nice high rate of fire of 900 rounds per minute along with, oh get turned on sun, nice moderate damage along with the high fire rate makes it brilliant at close range, medium range and long range. The damage multiplier, well the damage points are as follows, it is for, this is without suppressor as well, 25 points up close, 19, it drops up to 19 points when it gets to longer ranges. With Suppressor, is 25 up close and 17 at the longer ranges, so it's a little bit less damage, but it's still good. For Covert use, if you want to put a silencer on there, it's brilliant still, so just use it. Pretty much, it's got a moderate recoil as well, high fire rate with open iron sights, brilliant. So you don't really need a sign it, to be honest, in my own opinion, it's got the same, it's a waste of attachment really. If you use the sights on this gun, so it's got, well if you want to use this gun, it's I'm not pretty late in the assault rifle kit, but it, I do reckon that it is worth the trouble it is, because it is beast, it's one of my, it's, if not it is my favourite assault rifle in the assault kit, and I'll use this a lot, and I mean a lot, so it's unlocked at 72,000 assault XP, so in the assault kit it's like, uh, it's like the th um, third of the last assault rifle, so it's one of the last later assault rifles you unlock, but it's still pretty beast. I mean, I mean, look at there right now. Hip fire is immense. You can see all the way through this game that I'm getting turned on. I turn on all different people, not in a sexual way, you dirty bastards. But I just they try to shoot me. I turn around really quickly. You can see how fast they get mowed down just because of the fire fire rate of this gun. Um, did I forget to mention this beast? <laughs> so um, pretty much it's got also got three modes of fire: full auto, three round burst, semi-automatic. It's also well, I'd have to say it looks a lot different from the one in Battlefield Bad Company Two, and I mean a lot different. I mean compared to what it looked like before and I'll put a picture up at the end of the comparison between this version of the AEK and the one in Battlefield Bad Company 2 and you'll see the difference it's got what appears to be well I'm going to sound really geeky right now but it's got a different handguard as you can see just looks completely different it's also got a, a different stock as well I just sounded completely de geeky right there, but it looks so different, and but it feels a little bit similar, but it also feels a little bit foreign as well. So, all in all, beast from the assault rifle. Um, this the kit that I was using right now was the AEK with the foregrip, and that's all the attachments I need for this gun. I mean, it does lower down the recoil of what is a moderate recoil, and I mean that. So that's a good attachment choice. Also suppressor if you want to go covert, because it doesn't lose a lot of damage. And also, and also laser sight as well is a good attachment choice. So pretty much hope you enjoyed this little review on the AEK971. So at the end of this video you'll see the difference between the two versions of the gun. So hope you enjoyed it guys. See you later. Bye.